Hello, we are the five who fat. No, <laughs> we are the universal. This is the yeah. most of us. Yes, yeah. Matt and Batman. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much almost all of us. All yeah, just well, minus well, Matt and Toss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of the most, team. The most universals we've ever had in one location. So yeah. Far. Should we all just mm. introduce ourselves? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we go left to right. Motherfucker number one. Motherfucker <laughs> number two. Motherfucker number three, four, five. Just came back from the abominable blah, 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 BFI. Yeah, I, call, I almost said Power of the Daleks earlier. I was telling <laughs> my dad where I was going, to, what I was that going was to see. Years ago. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I was going to well, get my stories mixed up. Um, sorry, but yeah, uh, we uh, here in London. We went to yeah. the a, apparently last BFI for animated. Uh, yeah, not, yeah, not last BFI yeah. ever. Though. Yeah, the, the, yeah, because they're going to do Record the time metal next. Because the government are defunding the BFI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so unfortunately. No, the yeah. last animation Not even BFI. Yeah, for now. Yeah, the last animation BFI for now, and it was for the Abominable Wall. Yeah. And, um, f uh, very fittingly enough, it's the final Victoria story that needs to be done, so... Yeah. We've finally got a whole 60s Companions run Yeah. Finished. Woo! Um, yeah. Based. Yeah, yeah. Um, very. Yeah. Hi, but... Yeah. Sorry, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> we can close it if you want. We need to yeah, we should probably close the window. To close the window, bring it back in and turn the handle down. Who wants to get the ball rolling? Because Well, I personally think this is... I think the animation is... I mean, if we start with that, mm. it's an improvement on what Fury was like. And oh, I think yeah. this is the best from this team, and it's also one of the best full stop from this block. Mm. Like, along with the only, yeah, macro. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the animation, again, is this hyper-realistic so that doesn't match in. So it's yeah. like, um, it's okay if you do 3D models, I think that looks cool. Yeah. That was when they don't match in with the animation style, like the Buddha statue, and like yeah, the spins, that's, yeah, that's yeah, they yeah. bloody weird because they're photorealistic, the and then like the mountains and stuff, or like the other sets which yeah. are 3D still, are like in the animation yeah. style, and like you should pick one style, it's like you've got normal style, or even like the TARDIS in the animation style, yeah. Yeah. and then you've got the Buddha statue which looks like it's yeah. from like, a hyper-realistic <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, There's the also like a, a slight issue with that, um, with the first like courtyard when you walk in and you see like Charon walk in, it's quite obvious because you see like a big shot of him and there's like shadows being cast over it, but he doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he just looks it just looks like they've superimposed him on. He doesn't look like he's a part of the scene at all. Well that's what they've done. Um but, <laughs> yeah, I know that. But, <laughs> but yeah. But, like, there should be some effort taken to mm. add a shadow to him in the same sort of way that the um the the background, uh, the background has a shadow, yeah, just to make it look like he's like actually there. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, it's the same team that did Fury from the Deep and Galaxy 4. Yeah, in um, fact, according to Harry Russell, they did that simultaneously. Yeah, they, did they, they also say they did they did Fear as well. Yeah, they did the yeah. god awful Web of Fear thing at the same time. So yeah. what, what, they were doing what? Web of Fear, yeah. this, and Galaxy, Galaxy 4, so and Fury from the Deep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. finishing up Fury from the Deep. So basically yeah. between 11 and... I would say if it's two thirds, they say through it, so maybe... Another two of those episodes left to go. Mm. Oh, God, I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, mm. I know, but, but loads of episodes. It, yeah, it has the same trappings of that style, like the mm. weird, like the weirdly the weird proportions of the characters. Like it's, Second Doctor sells lanky arms. It's not as bad as Hartman was, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, but it's so, yeah, mm. but it's yeah. not great. It, it has the same trappings of that style, but this is the best iteration yes. of it. I think yes. in terms of flow and actual like animation, I thought this was probably like the smoothest one we've had from this team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, the, the, the only thing that really stuck out to me that was a bit like janky, I think, was the actual um abominable snowmen themselves. Just, cause they kinda well. just felt like a PGM is kind of doing <laughs> this. Yeah. Like and then when obviously you saw the existing footage they're a lot more, you know, Menacing, they're kind yeah. of more comfortable. They're a bit faster as well. Yeah. yeah. They kind of just look like they're trundling a little mm -hmm. bit in this one. Um, there's There was some detail, because I'm not sure if it was present in Fury or Galaxy 4, but I noticed some. They implemented some subtle details. Like, I noticed, especially in the still scenes when Cap is like praying, you notice them breathing. Okay. And, like, you know, and when like the Yeti is standing outside, you see like some subtle like fur flowing in the wind. So I was really impressed by that because I'm not sure if they had that in Fury or Galaxy Four. Okay. So it's good to see they implemented that. Um, there's, ooh, 
Uh, obviously, we watched it in colour because yeah, it's the best yeah. part. Literally, it looks nice! We didn't get to see this one. Yeah. So yeah. Either, but yeah. 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 Um, we haven't seen it. <laughs> they took some creative liberties because obviously, in the original story, they had. Um, they had uh, yellow taste. Yeah. 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 Well, to yeah. be fair, Tom Lee was played by a Sri Lankan, but. Or half Sri Lankan, I can't remember. But, you know, that's. You know, that's, that's like <laughs> a half gesture to. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Uh, yeah, but um, in this yeah. production, they've actually gone to the effort to yeah. represent them as uh, they Asian. likely would have been. Yeah, as, yeah. As Gary as Russell did say that they yeah. wanted to do a that. A mixture of a lot of like East Asian nations. Yeah, yeah. like Chinese, yeah. Tibetan, Korean, Nepalese, like yeah. Yeah. Pakistani, like some Indian. Like, um, so at least if the Bong Zem and Dzeva return to the archive, um, there's a non-offensive version they can show too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, and there's ooh. Uh, there were other creative liberties like Padma Sambavar. Yeah, he's a, you can say that. I actually, yeah, I, can I, do, I do actually think it's better in this version because he looks more oh, creepy. Oh yeah, it looks great. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah, bit. That, that is the best mm. single thing about the animation that design. Mm. Yeah, it looks. Fantastic. And I love how they keep it hidden for so yeah. long. And then yeah. part four cliffhanger, it's just shown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's also like corpse. <laughs> it may just be me, but it yeah. seems like there's a lot more. There's just a lot more in this animation because when you go back to Fury from the Deep, characters are just sort of waddle and like, yeah. Oh no, a seaweed. Yeah, it's the best this team's done. It's yeah. a shame yeah. stopping here. Yeah, yeah. But when, but, they can go out on a high note. But right like, from the opening scene where you have Travers like discovering that his companion, mm -hmm. the man is dead. When you discover that his companion is dead, there's like a lot of head turning, like the gun moving. So. Yeah, they definitely. And I'm like, Jesus me. Christ, you really upped your game. Um, yeah, they stuck to it. Yeah, and I was really impressed by the amount of detail. It did, it did sort of jar me because like you get some of the faces of the Tibetan monks, who like have a lot of like lines and wrinkles on their faces, and they look mm -hmm. not hyper realistic, but they they look more detailed. Then you cut back to the doctor and Jamie, who are the same models from Dream for the Deep. Oh, <laughs> Jamie and <laughs> Victoria especially are like <laughs> Victoria especially is just pretty much blank with eyes just and like, nose. <laughs> The biggest problem <laughs> with the animation is the fact that it's not entirely consistent. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, like, it almost like needed a once over of just like, the animation style is this, let's mm -hmm. stick to that please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it didn't. Yeah. But at least we've cleared it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Better than nothing. Yeah, the Yeti, again, as Jean said, they are probably the weakest part, but yeah. to be fair, that that's design not... is pretty good. Sort of true to the original story as well. They were great. Yeah, they're not. Great I there. think it's just the motion of them. It's okay. not, there's nothing necessarily wrong with the design of it, and I think yeah. that's nice. I think it's just when they're coming towards you, they are a bit kind of, okay, we'll rotate the PNG like the same. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I was 100% though, no, take these animated Yeti over the Boba Fett ones. Yes. No. <laughs> but I think yeah. anyone yeah. would. So if it's if not the worst says yeah. they do. I would, rather, I would rather drink water than suffocate, but <laughs> suffocate, dehydrate, you know what I mean. Um, it still works. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I noticed the sphere at the end, I'm pretty sure that was the, um, it's one been designed the around the one from the same yeah. 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 I saw it just sort of like it. old and sort of battered. Yeah. Which I think is a pretty neat touch. Yeah, yeah. neat touch. So a bunch of Easter eggs. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's all about it. Because it's supposed to be set up all this. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. that's what happened. I don't know how enough it got to, to Tibet, but um, uh, uh, so <laughs> how it did. I noticed one of the monks also had like the Corsair like, um, tattoo. Oh, neat. Which I thought was like an, like an odd little Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, 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 I think it, it's the one I think you think you yeah, might yeah, be around. Yeah, you might be The Corsair does. It kind of like a Corsair one. I mean, I'm thinking of a kind of a black circular thing or yeah, scene like something. Going into it, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, there was some other like when Pad the Samba. The, 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 oh, I said it right and then I said it wrong. But it's a like, very old man. Yeah, very old man. Mom. Like there was some really <laughs> interesting bits that actually improved. Like because some people complimented the Macro Terror animation for improving on set mm -hmm. pieces from the story itself. I yeah. think this is another case where, especially at the climax, when Pad the Samba starts levitating and yeah, there's the. Boom, I know, it's like, it, it feels like it's breathed a bit of new life into sort of. Yeah, because you know, yeah. no it's way it's difficult. Got that. Yeah, it's oh, difficult okay. to imagine what that would have looked like. And we just yeah. would have been standing there, just being. Yeah, right. and just like the. And just <laughs> patch out and straining and yeah. just going, oh no! It's a bit, a bit like maybe Sutek in Pyramids Mars, but not as interesting. Yeah. Probably. So uh, like along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, crap. Oh, yeah, there was also like. You know when the I'm not sure if it was inspired by, but like you know in the cave when the 
the intelligence's influence or whatever starts. Yes, yeah. that reminds spread- me a lot like the web from Web of Fear and the the phone from Fury from the Deep. Mm. It reminded me. It sort of like because it sort of looks like the web spreading from the Web of Fear, but also sort of loosely give me vibes of like the connections from the Bells of St. John. Ah, uh, yeah. Because that's also mm. a great intelligence. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there were three great intelligence sorts in Series 7 and no one remembers either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like... Okay, so the last time you canonically saw the great intelligence in the timeline yeah. is on Trenzalor. So how the fuck do you get from Trenzalor to Tibet? <laughs> <laughs> and if we're going by time, if we're going by timeline, it was technically he's doing all of this, but he also pops over to England in the 18... Somethings. Yeah. yeah. 1992, I think it was. Um, yeah. Um, 1892, he goes to play with Dr. Simeon. Then he comes back to Tibet, does all this. 35 years later, he's doing Web of Fear. Yeah. And then 2013, it, well, I say he, because he speaks like a he. Mm. It. And then but he's making Richard Grant's face again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in this as well. He's yeah, yeah. It's, but that's probably also seeing um, what his face yeah. is and voice as well. Basically, yeah. Steve Moffat. Yeah, and then yeah. 2013, <laughs> it's back and doing the whole web Wi Fi yeah. stuff, and then somehow it gets the trends and all. It's it's like, essentially, essentially, what yeah. we've realised here is just by watching this, we've thought about other times that the intelligence was used, and we've realised just how bad Series 7 is. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. completely <laughs> unrelated, but you know, it's bad. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's like it there's there's got a mix of like three D cell shading elements in there as well, like yeah. the spheres, mm-hmm. like the yeah. Buddha statue, like the Tardis. Oh, yeah, Tardis is nice. <laughs> yeah, Tardis yeah. is in the animation style, so it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it has the same because you mentioned how like sometimes the three D elements don't really mesh mm-hmm. with the two D. That was the same complaint that me Jean and Matt had with Galaxy Four. Oh, with the control yeah. room. The, yeah, like yeah. the control room and like sometimes like the Draven ship, like yeah, it didn't yeah. quite mesh. With mm. the two D, but you know, I think that's just I think that's just yet another signature thing well, with this animation team, like the lanky arms. Yeah, but it's like well, I think Galaxy Four overall. If you're having to rank all the animation, I think Galaxy Four for me, apart from the Fear, is at the bottom. Whereas I think this is probably it, are we counting all the animations? They uh, uh, just this team, these two teams. Are we talking about this block? Uh, out, out, out of all of them. Okay, oh, okay. I would argue yeah, Rain Terror. Yeah, I'm quite well with Rain Terror. Really? Yeah. Rain Terror has terror. Terror. some interesting creative choices. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably just a show. It's probably just a show. You you did that. Final Victorious. Yeah. It was better there because it was funny. Yeah. Um, I think the point is that I've been dreaming on the Galaxy 4 technology. animation a lot from this. So, so, you, yeah, so this. you prefer Fury from the Deep over the Galaxy yeah. 4? Interesting. I think I might as well, because re- that one, I probably well, I don't know about it, 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 it. It's the new entirely redesigned sets. It's and also just like, like that just lets it out. I, yeah. can't get over, I cannot get over how yeah. bad Hartnell looks in that style yeah. as well. He just looks <laughs> the costume's just wrong. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, and yeah. Going back to um, the Bumble Snow then. Yeah. Yeah, this is the best that this, the best this team has done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what we're is the best this team has done, it's a shame that it's... they might not do any again. But... Yeah, all the other team who did really good stuff on the other ones. I think they're the stronger ones. I yeah. still yeah. Yeah. overall yeah. they are the stronger teams. teams. <laughs> but yeah, it's a I shame s- they're not gonna do any more either. I think I still will always prefer the style of the other team, like the Macro Terra faces yeah. ones team. The Macro is the best one I think they've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. or yeah. Evil's yeah. face one as well. Yeah. Evil's, Evil's really good too. Uh, I, but, face, I also like the faces one one, but I knew I did notice it was a bit of a step down from Macra. Yeah, but and there was that one bit. I did point this out in my review of it back a few years ago that there is a bit where they don't move from Nurse Pinto when she's talking to the doctor. Yeah, there's a bit where she towards just the end blind. of Black Five. Yeah. yeah, how could they miss that? Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, that's. Do, do y'all have anything else to say about it? Well, it, has story made, it, it has made yeah. me sort of rephrase <laughs> the story. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't realize. You sort of when you're watching a recon, it's sort of yeah. Yeah. tricky to. Cause it can be sort of tricky to keep yeah. up depending on the recon. For, for yeah. context, but. these two have seen that before. I obviously have. This is John's first time ever seeing the story. Yeah, I've only, I've only read about the story. I've so. seen the recon twice. Cause, um, yeah, so including the surviving episode, and I saw that at least once as well on its own. Yeah, and Jean and thinks it's based. I did. I thought it was very good. Nice. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good story here as well. Yeah, it I definitely think... had a better opinion of it here, than I think the animation out there, like with Fury from the Deep. And... It's a story that I think is a very yeah. slow burn, and it's one that you sort of 
at least in my case, is one that you appreciate more with repeated revisits. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. know. I would say from my first time, I, d I wouldn't say that it dragged at all. I think it was a good build-up. Yeah, the only, the, thing, the only thing I would say is that... Tension does build here. Uh, uh, yeah. I just think episode 6 goes too quickly for the pace of the story. Fair, I think... But by that point, you're kind of wanting it to, but it's like... Yeah. It's like, so, 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 so quick. Yeah. I, I think it's a bit yeah. like... I think there's <laughs> some meandering in parts 4 and 5 with the whole Victoria running around and doing <laughs> yeah. some stuff. I think that... I mean, I think it does that's her personality. Yeah, but I thought she was quite strong in the first half of this story. Yeah, was, there's a few moments, actually. Yeah, there's she, a few moments. There's a few moments. Yeah. And then halfway through, she kind of goes down a bit. Although, when she does trick Tomney to get out of the cell, that is really good. That is a really, really good scene. Good. That so is when the, she gets hypnotised on really, like, yeah. really yeah. long yeah. cut of animation as well. Yeah. It goes yeah. for like a minute and a half and it's just one shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, this, the Abominable Snowman in particular has the longest shot they've ever animated. Yeah, in, in any animation. In a Doctor Who animation. Yeah. Yeah, not in the entire history of the world. At least for the animation. I don't know what that one would be. Uh, but yeah, like it's it's a story that I've like appreciated with each revisit, and I think this is the best form we're ever going to get of it because yeah. it doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah, unless yeah. the the other episodes turn up, then this Somehow. is the best. We're, yeah, this is going to be the best we're going to experience it. Yeah, along with the surviving episode two. Yeah, but um, that's I think that's all we have to say. Well, so we finally got an answer as to why Troutman's eyes are green in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a Q and A session afterwards. Do we have the footage? Can that be inserted in here? I Did didn't take the footage. I, just, I didn't feel it. It, it might get uploaded to Twitter at some point. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't record it. Well, if we find it on Twitter, we're inserting. We'll put it in. I recorded when Nick got his gift. Yeah, I won prize. prize. Yeah, I did <laughs> take some pictures, so I've got pictures of that I can send to you. But that I didn't film it. Yeah, I I asked over the Q and A session, and I was the last question. I was like, "Send Trump that blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they green?" And they Who's kind the of based. Yeah. They kind of yeah, based on. Um, them asking Fraser and Debbie and Wendy and, and Annika okay. and Michael I think back at the, in the day and Gary was writing a, uh, one of the version books I think it was version of uh, New Adventures yeah. so he was describing the eyes and then I think they kind of went from there he was describing the story without <laughs> yeah. um, so apparently, apparently it's also to make the Doctor look a bit more alien yeah, as well. Too. Yeah, more cat. And, and so more... Yeah, yeah sticks out more from the crowd. Cat 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 what's quite interesting is the survival yeah. DVD has the Doctor with the yellow eyes, but I don't think he ever had them. He had it for like one shot. One he shot. Goes he goes to bash them off his head. And okay, that, that's it's where the, the picture it's is. It's that if we fight like sense. animals, we die like animals. Okay, that makes sense as they use that, that picture from that on the cover. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. But yeah, that's. I think that's all we have to say about Yeah, I think that's a good story. Out of ten. No, I know. I, I give it an abominable. No, I give it a big fluffy boy out of ten. I think season five is I the best it, season uh, of all time, and y'all should stand it. I give it a Tibetan monastery out of ten. I give it eight out of ten. I give it no longer racist out of ten. Nice. <laughs> I yeah. give it patty tratty daddy out. Oh. Oh, Victoria. Yeah. If, I was, if I was doing a jokey one, I'd give it snuggly wuggly of snowmen one. Speaking of snuggly wuggly, of wuggly let's uh, us get in for a giant group shot. We are all so sweaty. And, uh, and that's my mask. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. And enjoy the rest of Trouton Month. Yee! Yeah! <laughs>